Oh hell no. Nah. Log on internet, Kyle Linux there. So today we're taking a look at GIMP. It's essentially the Photoshop alternative or equivalent for Linux systems. Now the look of this thing right out the box is not what I'm trying to work with. Uh uh, I, I do not like this at all. This is not attractive. And I'm sure some of you out there who might be new to Linux might have seen this right out the gate and thought, I'm not about to use this to do any work. But look, there's no reason to panic, no reason to freak out. You can make GIMP look great. You can even make GIMP look like Photoshop, and we're going to do that right now. So, one of the first things to do is change all of these little side windows and individual toolbars that have separated themselves from the main stage of the program. And the way you do this is by clicking on the Windows tab, going down to single window mode, and boom, look at that. Everything has decided to collaborate and work together. Love it. Now this looks a lot better, but I kind of want to take this a step further. Now I'm not a GIMP guru. I've not used this program extensively as it works outside of the box. I haven't played with GIMP's normal shortcuts and its normal icons, etc., etc. right out the box. I typically adjust the program to look exactly like Photoshop because I spent many years in Photoshop and I've become accustomed to Photoshop. So I just like having my shortcut commands, having my shortcut keys and everything set right out of the gate because it's what I'm used to. That muscle memory is really hard to get rid of. So what we're going to be doing today is making GIMP look like Photoshop. This process is not a difficult one to do. There's a really cool individual on DeviantArt who actually created a custom Photoshop theme or, or a template, if you will, for GIMP. So we're going to go download that from his DeviantArt page right now and then get it installed on Linux. And then I'll show you how everything looks. So let's get right to it. First thing you want to do, fire up your web browser. I'm going to open up Firefox real quick. And then we're just going to do a quick search. The artist's name is Dr. Mo or Dr. Mo. I don't really know how to pronounce it. I'm just reading it based on how it's written. So D-O-C-T-O-R-M-O. And then you're going to just type in Photoshop GIMP next to it. Run your search. And boom, look at that. GIMP 2.8 Photoshop tweaks by Dr. Mo on DeviantArt. Click on that link. And awesome, see? If you look at the image here, he has it all laid out. The icons look exactly the same as the old school Photoshop icons. Uh, the layer section is adjusted and on the right side down at the bottom. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I need. And oh, right there, look at that. Keyboard shortcuts, yes. Yes, this is what we want. For those of us who are used to Photoshop and like using Photoshop and don't really want to force ourselves to adjust to GIMP's nuances and its set techniques, this is the way to go. So now that we're on this page, we're just going to hit download. It's a zip file right here, and it's real small, 142 kilobytes, no big deal. Save the file, click OK. All right, it's going to open up the download folder here. And there it is. So the next step, we're going to extract this. No, oh, it's not extract. Oh, I forgot. So one little caveat here. So you notice how I clicked extract, right? Extract here. The prompt came up and disappeared really quick. It did extract, but you have to view your hidden files in order to be able to see the folder, right? And the way to do that, the shortcut command for doing that is control H and boom. Now you see all the GIMP.2.8 or GIMP-2.8 files, uh, directories that were created from extracting this one file here. Once you've found that, this is the easiest part and the, one of the best parts. Just copy this folder, go to your home directory, your user directory. So just click on your name. And right here for me is Kai Linux, obviously. And down here, you're gonna see GIMP. 
if you've used it. So there is .gimp-2.8. Go back into the program real quick. Just close it. This prevents any kind of little bugs and issues that may come up. Just going to exit the program. And then we're going to paste the folder here. Merge folder. Da, da, da. Yeah, of course. So we're replacing this. And we're going to apply this action to all files. Now, also keep in mind, I'm using Ubuntu Mate 16.04.2. So your prompts may be different. Uh, even your extractor might be different. I don't know which version of or which flavor of Ubuntu you may be using. But the concepts are the same. You're just replacing the directory with the new directory that has the Photoshop theme and the shortcuts in there. So we're going to replace this and merge folders, replace, place. It did not do it for all. Hold on. Let's try that again. Apply this action, all files, merge, apply this action, all files, replace. Boom. All right, cool. So now everything's replaced and merged. Next step, we're going to open Photoshop. Or excuse me. We're going to open GIMP again and see what it looks like. So Alt F2. I like running applications with my shortcut commands. You know, not everybody's into that whole thing. They like the icon. So if you have GIMP, the icon on your screen, click on it. But for me, I'm just going to type in GIMP, hit enter. Boom. And there it is. There go your Photoshop icons and all your Photoshop shortcuts work as well. So even if I, if I open up a new file, let's, let's do that right there. If I hit B, I get the brush. If I hit V, I can drag that around just like in Photoshop. So there you go. If you're interested in switching your GIMP look and feel to match that of Photoshop because you happen to be used to Photoshop, like if you're switching to Ubuntu from Mac or Windows, this is a great way to get acquainted. If you're the type of individual who wants to learn something new, I highly recommend not installing the Photoshop theme and not putting the shortcuts on there. This way you can get familiar with GIMP's subtle nuances, its own techniques and its own shortcuts, use cases, etc. So give it a shot if you're interested in this. Try it out for yourself and have fun, man. Happy creating. really do not like this gradient crap like you ever notice like linux distros tend to come out of the box with it's like this great this gradient look by default i really don't like that we're gonna have to change that up